Good morning, dear viewers, and welcome to this new tutorial. This tutorial goes direct to technician or engineer in the field of study of topography. We all know that before an engineer goes on the field, he has to carry out some preliminary studies. So this tutorial will help him to carry out a 3D survey of in any area in global mapper. Let us take a small example. You are a topographer and you are asked to carry out a topographic survey on an area where they have to realize a market. The first thing you put in mind is to know the topography of the area. Knowing the topography of the area will permit you to plan your topographic mission. So let us see or let us go in detail on this in this video. Let uh, open Google, um, Google Earth first. So suppose this is where we want to create our market. So I will limit our survey area. Before I limit the survey area, I will make sure that my node is uh, that is pointing uh is point is, is direct is pointing toward the y direction. So I will press on I simply press on my keyboard node automatically my mouse will rotate. Now I go to uh to uh I go to polygon at the polygon I will use a polygon to limit my so my survey area. So I put in I say I call it survey area. Survey area. Now I look for the color head. Yes, uh, the size, the width, the measure, kilometer. Uh, okay. I now okay. Before that, uh, before that, I come back to that. Before that, it's always necessary to first of all verify your uh, system, your coordinate system. Okay, UTM, Universal Transversal Mercator, then it is uh, meta, okay, and apply. You come back. Now, you go on add polygon, and you come back, survey area, and the further you are, it is uh, actually, actually is clamped to ground, and you trace your survey, you trace your area, you trace my area, so the area, after you press on OK, after you are pressing OK, you simply export your data, you export your data, you go to, you go to uh, edit, uh, file, you save, you save your place, click uh, in this format and you put the name automatically you choose a folder i want you to how to carry a out a click survey you save when you save you move now to global mapper you open the survey area ah sorry sorry before you open the survey area you make sure that your system of uh, the coordinate system is the same see that you have a projection, you go to UTM zone, it should be universal, uh, transversal, Makato, yes, UTM, the zone, since you are in Cameroon, you go to 32 northern, the, the position system, and we apply, okay, and you upload now your yeah, survey area, okay, it appears as you can you can see this is our coordinate or you can coordinate now you can proceed by carrying out you are by carrying out the survey so we open make sure you have a connection you have a connection to open the elevation data we open the elevation data you connection you go to terrain data you go to uh worldwide elevation data I will choose one because one is more precise than one half second. I choose one and I connect. Okay. Now I connect and this is my survey area. You see that the, the you see you can you can have access because you see these are the altitude, the altitude range, 
I mean, this color represents um, a duty range from uh, 70 150 to 760. When it is blue, we are around 680. So this this area here have attitude of 780, and this uh, this area here have uh, attitude of uh, 760. So we can now we select we go and edit we select our working zone and we simply go to export we want to export we export the export elevation grid format we make sure that we are on x y z grid okay we choose i will choose tab and uh, the, the elevation coordinate position i will say yes we use the default position based on it now the resolution you can add, uh, modify it depending on you but talking to align, align the default resolution we go to uh, here, nothing, nothing important here, coordinate offset scale, no problem. You go to export bank, make it note, you click on clock to the selected area, or else it will, it will extract the coordinate, or you survey the whole world, and it will take a lot of time. So you click to clock to the selected feature, you come back and you OK. You choose, you put a name, okay, for that, let's say X, Y. Uh, Z survey uh, survey data and you choose you verify that it saves to the folder that you want and you I save it. Now after you have saved you go to your folder automatically it appears in XYZ extension so you can click on it you put uh, X to be text file okay and you say yes you open now your excel to arrange your data you open microsoft uh, excel you open microsoft excel you go to open you open microsoft excel you choose to go to uh, open your data open your data you browse to the to the folder where you are safe mm, yeah you, you make sure that you are on all Excel files. You go on all files so you can appear so easy. And remember that we save it. It's a text document. So you click on it and you open. After you have opened, a small page will appear. You have three steps. You will simply next. You put tab. Automatically, you are separate into tabs, into cells, columns. Sorry, to columns. And next, and you finish. And your data appear. You can now arrange it. You will say, say, accept it. Insert, insert here, insert, 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 insert here. Now we can put the magic, uh, uh, mag, um, magicals, graphic magicals. Uh, yes, this one, uh, it's in arrange it some more. This one, you put the uh, S coordinate, metas. Uh, this is. Uh, this is the Y coordinate. The Y coordinate. Yes, uh, this is now the Z coordinate. Uh, Z coordinate, also in meta. And uh, attitude, I have got it, let's say uh, P, P1. And we now incriminate it. And we draw it try to appear so I uh, have up to 255 points so this is my survey data in three dimension with this data you can have an idea on the variation of the term you know you have 700 in Paris form let's say uh, 600 uh, and 600 and let's say 600 and 96 to um, 700 and something so it varies so it's just for you to have an idea on the topography as a area on the topography of the area and take note it was safe uh, let me see first before i give the remark and put it in excel file and save take note this survey it is not precise it's only to have an idea of the topography of the area in order to plan for 
more precise studies. So thanks for watching. For any worry or suggestion, please kindly contact us on our page and stay tuned for new coming tutorials.